multiplication of letters and numbers. When we multiply two numbers together, we get another number. For example, 5 multiplied by 6 is equal to 30, and 4 multiplied by 3 is equal to 12. However, this is not the same for letters. So what we're going to look at is what we get when we multiply A by B. The first thing we need to know is that A multiplied by B is an expression. So an expression is a mathematical sentence that combines numbers and or variables using mathematical operations. So in this case, a multiplied by b is an expression because it combines the variables a and b using the mathematical operation multiplication. Other examples of expressions are 5 plus 6, a plus b minus c, 20a divided by 5a, and 3a multiplied by 4b. So if you go back to our original expression, what we're trying to find is what a multiplied by b gives us. So we don't know the value of a and we don't know the value of b, so we can't find the value of a multiplied by b. What we do is we simply drop the multiplication sign and we write the letters together. So if we want to multiply a by b, we get a b. Similarly, if we want to multiply a number by a letter, so 3 by x. We drop the multiplication sign and write the numbers and the letters together, so we get 3x. Be careful when you're writing your x's, try and do them like this so that they don't look like the multiplication sign. So we'll try a few more examples. So here we have 6 multiplied by x multiplied by y. So in this instance we have a number and two letters. So we generally write the letters in alphabetical order. So when we multiply this in, we're going to get 6 and then x, y. So we drop the multiplication signs and we write our numbers and letters together. So our second example here is 5a multiplied by 4b. And in this case we have two numbers and we have two letters. So what we do is we multiply the numbers as usual and then we multiply the letters together. So our numbers in this case are 5 and 4. So we're going to multiply our numbers so 5 by 4 will give us 20. And then we multiply our letters, so we're going to have A by B. And a minute ago we worked this out, so A by B will give us A, B. Now, so here we have minus 6x multiplied by 2y multiplied by 3z. So again, like we did the last time, we're going to multiply our numbers. So we have minus 6 multiplied by 2 will give us minus 12, and minus 12 multiplied by 3 will give us minus 36. And then we have to multiply our letters, so we have this time x multiplied by y multiplied by z, so that will give us x, y, z. And our final example is minus 7 multiplied by p multiplied by minus 3 multiplied by q. So again, same as we did before, we multiply our numbers. So we have minus 7 multiplied by minus 3. So when we multiply a minus by minus, we remember we must get a plus. So minus 7 by minus 3 will give us plus 21. And then we multiply our letters. So we have p multiplied by q, which will give us pq. So we're left with 21 pq. Now, if we look at the expression 4x plus 7y, we're going to look at the 4 in front of the x. So 4 in front of x means 4 multiplied by x. And the 4 in this case is called the x coefficient, because it's multiplied by x. Similarly, 7 is called the y coefficient, because it's multiplied by the y. And finally, in the expression 3x plus 6, 6 is known as the constant, because it's not multiplied by any variable. And by variable, we mean x or y or a or 